Hey guys, for this video I'll be reviewing the big North London derby between Arsenal and Tottenham. Okay guys, so the final score was 5-2. I'll cover the goal scorers for you. In the 10th minute was Adebayo putting them ahead, 1-0 to Tottenham. He got sent off in the 18th minute though, so that was good for us, really did put us in control of the game. Resulting from that was a 24th minute goal from Murdersack, his first ever goal for Arsenal, bringing us back to 1-1. Soon after that in the 42nd minute was Podolski scoring a goal, putting us 2-1 up. Three minutes after that, Giroud scoring a great goal with a fantastic assist from Kazor, putting us 3-1 up at half time. Credit to Tottenham, in the second half they changed their structures and it really did restrict the chances that we made on the counter-attacks and it really did allow them to have a lot more possession than they did in the last 20 minutes of the first half. Unfortunately for them though, the goal scoring didn't stop for Arsenal in the 60th minute. A great goal from Kozola was a flick on from Giroud which landed to Walcott who passed it to Podolski on the left, crossed it in quickly to a running Kozola and he just finished beautifully, an easy tap in for him. He put us 4-1 up and from then on we were guilty of just taking the foot off the pedal a little bit and it allowed Tottenham to get a goal back, a great goal from Bale in the 70th minute and then the fifth goal for Arsenal came in the 91st minute from Walcott after Chamberlain came on and created a good chance running past the defenders on the right simple pass into Walcott and he tapped it in to get a goal was really good for his confidence and he played the full 90 minutes when Chamberlain came on he went central and that's where he wants to play so it was good for Arsene Wenger to just give him that opportunity and hopefully in the next few weeks he does sign the contract because he is a very important player for us. number of our attacks came through him and I'm loving that when we get him on the right he's just whipping it in quickly, quick crosses and that's what we need to do especially with the central striker like Drew who's very good in the air. It seems like we're looking pretty dangerous in the air now. Every time we get a corner I'm thinking that we can score with the likes of Vermaelen, Murtisaka, Koscielny and Giroud in the air which is really going to cause teams a lot of problems and if we can pinch a Fellaini even in the January transfer window that could really bolster our power in the air. Overall though it wasn't a bad performance, it's hard to judge because of the red card but I don't give a shit, we won the game, it puts us on top of Tottenham in the table and hopefully now we can get on a roll and start winning some games and climbing our way up the table and possibly into the top four and then from then on maybe challenge for the title, you don't know, we can still win it, it's still early in the season, still a lot of a lot of games left. Negative for me was that defence still it's still a bit shaky. Chesney was back and you, you don't expect much from him because he's missed 12 games. So he can't come in and just bang, be an awesome keeper. He's going to take a few games to get back into and get his you know reflexes going and just understanding the speed of the game again. And hopefully in the next coming weeks or even in the next game we might even get Gibbs back which means that we're going to have to fix up our centre backs and put Murtisak and Vermaelen as the central centre backs and put Koscielny back on the bench unfortunately, even though he was pretty good today. My man of the match was Kozola, he was unbelievable, Wilshere was very good too, although I still worry that, I know it's in his nature, but he just goes for so many tackles that I feel like he's getting it sent off every game, although I kind of love that about him, that he's not afraid to just put his body on the line, but that also means that he's going to be prone to getting a lot of yellows and missing a lot of games, which is not what we want, so I don't know if we tell him just take it easy, or just let him go and you know, hope that he doesn't, you know, hurt someone so much that he's going to get sent off. Positive though is the chemistry between our attackers now, Podolski, Giroud and Walcott. They're really creating a really good relationship between the players and with Gazzola, they're really getting a good understanding for each other. And it's great to see Giroud scoring now. I think that's five goals in the past five games. Correct me if I'm wrong, I think I heard that, I think I heard the commentator say that, so I'm not sure if that's correct or not. But five goals in the past five games, he's really getting a feel for the English Premier League now and the way the English sides play. Everyone was saying that it's going to take him a while to adapt to the way we play. But I honestly think that our players are really changing because of him, because of the way he plays and how good he is in the air. We're, we're crossing the ball a lot more than we have in the past, a lot more than we have in the last couple of years, because we've got a player that can actually dominate in the air. And it's a really good outlet now that it's not a matter of looking for the killer pass. If we have a, a second of free space and Walcott or Podolski or whoever on the wings have got it, we just cross it in and you've got a guy like Giroud there who's probably going to hit the target if he gets the chance to head of the ball. But overall guys, it was a good result. There's not really much to talk about tactically. When, you, when you're when down to 10 men for Tottenham, it's just a matter of really holding on and that's what they did. They did very well. It could have ended up as a 7-1, you know, 8-2 thrashing, but it was only 4-2. Comment below guys, tell me what you think of the game. Make sure you subscribe above for more reviews. I must say though, we play Montpellier I think in the Champions League on Wednesday. 
I will not be posting a review for that because I will be in the air. I will be flying to the UK. I'll be in the UK for basically two weeks and through those two weeks I'll be going to the Everton game at Goodson Park and I'll be going to the Swansea game at home on the 1st of December I think it is and then hopefully going to a pub or something when we play Aston Villa away in the next game which is next week. So there won't be a review on the Montpellier game but every other game after that there will be a review so make sure you subscribe to get those. Like the video below it really does help me out a lot. I'm doing the review at about 3 3.30 in the morning or whatever it is here. I just want to get it out to you guys. I'm very dedicated and hopefully you appreciate that. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing. I hope you enjoy these videos. It's really fun making them and getting good feedback from you guys. So it's been great. Thanks for watching and have a good week.